Look at me out here not training like I fight. I had to unload the HST so I could shoot the ball. Uh, but we are here per the title with the T-Rex Arms Raptor 2.0. Uh, this is the newest addition to the T-Rex Arms holster lineup. It's a new rendition of an older design. And uh, this thing is sick. We're definitely going to talk more about it when we get to the tabletop. But uh, for now, we're just going to run some drills with this bad mamma jamma. Multicam arid. Pretty sick. I, it's super comfortable. Uh, we'll save it. We'll save it for the tabletop. Uh, I did get the Discrete Carry Concepts monoblock for an upgrade as far as the clips are concerned. But I'm running it currently with the standard out-of-the-box clips uh, to get a feel for them. And they've been working great. And uh, so yeah, we got a 12 round Glock 26 mag and a 15 round Glock 19 mag. And we're gonna be doing some drills, some reload stuff, one uh, R1 type of stuff or three R1 or one R3 or whoever. We're just gonna be shooting, getting some draws, hopefully some good clean ones and uh, see how she runs. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so we are here with the Glock 26 and uh, we only got a few rounds loaded up into the gun. And uh, we are going to just shoot. We're not really going to be doing anything specific. And uh, we're about seven yards, so, you know, common self defense distance, 21 feet in kind of thing. Um, and yeah, let's get it. I don't have a shot timer or anything like that on me. And uh, I'm here by myself, so I'm just kind of going to go off my own beat, get some reps. Hopefully they're smooth, hopefully they're clean. If not, we're going to work on it. And uh, hopefully we get some good hits. So. Alright, so not my best work, but shot that cold. Most of my grouping is dead center where it's supposed to be, A zone. I'm going to call this out. This is probably still an A zone. That realistically is probably still an A zone, but I'm going to call that and that out. Um, that was definitely me not looking at the sights, uh, and that was just anticipating recoil. And then the one shot that I did send at the noggin, a uh, little high from the bull, but still definitely in the tee box, and uh, not bad. And the holster's pretty slick. Just got to keep my shirt out of it. So perhaps not my best work, but good enough for government work. Uh, had a flyer there, not looking at the sights. That's what happens when you don't look at your sights, folks. And then this one, I winged him in the shoulder. So uh, his arm's black, he's got a med, somebody cover him. And then shout out to the Templar knife, D2 steel, little dagger, that thing's sick. This is the Sentinel for the finishing blow. Right in the neck, stabbed him right in the neck. Sometimes that's where people need to be stabbed. But anyway, more about the holster. Uh, this thing is sick. It's working out great. Let's head to the tabletop and tell you all about it. All right, let's check this thing out. Uh, I recently picked this up 
pretty much the same day as T-Rex dropped it on their website. I'm a nerd. I'm subscribed to their newsletter on the old emails. And uh, I saw it, and I saw that they finally had a holster option, a true holster option for a Glock 26. I'm a huge fan of the Glock 26. I think it's probably the best carry gun on the market. It's definitely the most compatible carry gun on the market and practical and logistically sound. If you're interested in the Glock 26, check out my video telling you all the reasons as to why the Glock 26 is the greatest Glock ever devised. Um, but yeah, they never had a true 26 holster. You could get a 19 holster, and of course it would work with the 26, but you're going to have an extra holster that you don't need. Now with the Raptor, we got everything we need and nothing we don't. So I've had this holster in for about a week or so, and I've been carrying it, using it every single day since. Before I picked this up, I was running the T-Rex Arm sidecar with my 43X, and uh, this thing is sick. I've got a bunch of previous videos on this. The sidecar, in my opinion, is an excellent option, a very modular option. I'm not using any of the accessories that you could bolt to it, the tourniquet, the mag pouch, the AR mag pouch, the handcuff pouch whatever i'm just using the spare clip but the fact that it moves with you aids in comfort and concealability you've got the wing of course it's multi-cam black the sickest camo pattern ever devised and this one is for my little mini roland special 43x and uh it's perfect absolutely perfect in every single way and there's not many people that offer a quality holster that i would be interested in using uh for this setup so that's super cool that they do and uh, so that's what i've been running and when i'm feeling like maybe a little bit of a thinner gun i'm wearing a little bit tighter clothing whatever it is uh, I will carry this but uh, the 26 is like I said one of my favorite guns my favorite Glocks I think it's honestly one of the best across the board and it really just shoots so well and it's such a great size uh, you know right now we got the 12 rounder in there so 13 rounds out of the gate and back it up with a 15 a 17 a 24 a 33 a 50 shot pro mag if you're doing it for the streets um, whatever you want. And uh, this thing shoots. I can shoot this thing as good as a 19 or as good as a 17. Something about the way that it just nestles into my hand. And so I really, really wanted to carry this thing, but I wanted to carry it in a proper holster. And until now, I couldn't really find one. So let's take a look at this beauty. Uh, this thing sells on the T-Rex Arms website for 80, 85 bucks. I do believe if you get specific multicam patterns or whatever licensed camo pattern ways, uh, there is, I believe, a $15 upcharge, but worth it for the drip, in my opinion. Uh, one of the, the things that I really appreciate about T-Rex Arms and their holsters, uh, well, there's a bunch of stuff, but as far as their holsters are concerned, the fit and finish, the flawless manufacturing, the dedication to a quality product, a purpose-driven product is second to none in my opinion. So let's give you a look at the holster. Uh, everything is super clean, super flawless, quality components. The beveling and shaping on the Kydex is it's the best. I would have to say. Uh, they have it quite literally down to a science. As shown here, you see it with the out-of-the-box clips that are provided with it. They are adjustable for both ride height and cant, and uh, they kind of move around a little bit and bend with your belt. And uh, then you also have the wing, which pushes against your belt or your pants or whatever, and tucks the gun further into your body, better concealing it. You also have your adjustable retention right there, so you can set this up to hold your gun exactly how how you want it that being said we've got these screw holes right there and i would highly suggest picking up the discrete carry concepts monoblock as a five dollar upgrade uh, this is a metal spring clip probably the best one in the business and uh, while these clips have been excellent for me i've been using them to great effect they're perfectly comfortable perfectly concealable uh, and have a lot of adjustment and play in them to be able to wear the holster where and how I want uh, these are pretty darn nice too and it might also provide you a little bit of a deeper ride height as far as concealment is concerned as the holes sit more proud than these other ones and uh, just sick man absolutely sick beautiful 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 I don't think you can go wrong.
And before we let you guys get out of here, I want to touch on a few key features of this holster specifically. Uh, one that I didn't mention earlier, these clips are tuckable clips, so you can carry this inside the waistband, this goes over your belt, and you can tuck your shirt in behind the clip. Uh, so you can very much so conceal this depending on what you have to wear, the occasion, or if you're in an office setting for work, and so that does give you a solid option. Uh, the other thing is, all of T-Rex's holsters are made open bottom. And the reason for that is so you can fit the next sizes up as far as a gun in that holster. So now, this is a 26 holster made specifically for a 26. I've got a Glock 19 in there. A really nice Robar Glock 19 that you never see anymore. Uh, stay tuned for more content on this. This thing is sick. But yeah, fits the holster perfectly. And while with the 26 in there, we've got a little extra on the muzzle, you know, as far as the length of the holster. With the 19 in there, there's barely any poking out. It's almost like it's made for a 19. And uh, the versatility of that, being able to carry literally a 26, a 19, a 17, a 34, whatever you want in this same holster, uh, I find that rather attractive. Another really nice touch that I have yet to see on other holsters is on the side of the Kydex that is contacting your body. This is an inside the waistband holster. It's relief cut right here. You don't have this extra kydex coming down that's going to be jabbing and poking you, uh, where most other holsters, this would just be symmetrical. It'd be identical on either side. They have relief cut that, so when it is pushing into your body, you don't have a hard, jagged, sharp, which these are all very rounded corners. Excellent job on that. Um, but either way, it would still not be the most comfortable. That is a nice thing. Carrying guns is supposed to be comforting, not comfortable, but if you can have both, why not? Absolutely awesome. Really, really like that feature. A lot of people might not even notice that until you actually wear the gun. Uh, and then one of the coolest things about this holster is the actual molding of it. Uh, if you look here, so we've got our clips, right? And I carry this appendix. So if we're looking down and this is my belt line and we're carrying it flat across, look at the angle of the holster. It's actually canted inwards towards the body. So naturally, without even using this wing to push the holster into the body, push the gun into the body and conceal it more, on a straight off 90, uh, it's already canted inwards. And I really, really like that. You can see that perfectly fine right here. Uh, and it's, it's awesome. The gun fits perfectly in the holster. Uh, you've definitely got more than enough sight channel for suppressor height sights. It's cut in case you are running an optic because yes on the new gen 5 uh, 26s they do offer an mos model but i just thought that was super cool here's a look uh with the gun in the holster again flat across on the belt appendix the holster itself is naturally canting the gun and concealing it better plus we got that wing to back it up and that's sick so yeah if you couldn't tell already I dig it. Money well spent. And uh, probably going to see what other models of firearms they make this thing for. And uh, maybe pick up another one. Collect all the colors and camos, perhaps. Maybe not. But I will definitely be placing future orders with T-Rex for their holsters and a bunch of other cool doodads and gadgetry that they sell on their website. And I advise you guys checking them out too. They have no idea I exist and I get nothing for it. I just believe in their company. I believe in their message. I believe in what they're believing in. Uh, not all of it, but most of it. And... Uh I believe in their products. I've used their products extensively, and I've never been let down yet. So uh, while this is double, if not more, than a We The People, um, it's double, if not more, the holster as well, folks. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, in case you guys weren't aware, you didn't get the newsletter, you didn't see it on the, on the YouTube channels and whatever, uh, T-Rex Arms, the Raptor 2.0, a reiteration of a previous design, and I think perfectly improved. So with all that being said, guys, I appreciate you sticking around. If you have this long, like the video, leave it in the comment section below what you think. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this kind of content. Make sure you check out all my older videos and stay tuned for all the ones in the future because uh, there will be many, many more. There's already quite a few, I would argue. Uh, but yeah, 
This is sick. T-Rex Arms is sick. Uh, Freedom is sick. So make sure you are fighting for it at every turn. Make sure you check those first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given, inalienable, constitutionally protected, and reaffirmed, but inherent by birth gun rights, people. Somebody's got to do it. That's us, okay? Make sure you have the guns and the gear and have fun and train and, and train, train, train. That's super important, you know, because you could have all this stuff, and if you don't know how to use it, what are you doing? Not much. Um, but yeah, you have to be a warrior in a garden, not a gardener in a war. So you have to know how to use this stuff, but in the meantime, you should be fighting in every way other than this stuff to make sure that you don't have to fight with this stuff. Also, don't go stupid places with stupid people and do stupid shit. Most of your life, you'll probably be all right. Either way, I'm going to get off my terribly tactical tirades. I appreciate y'all. Um, stay tuned for sure. A bunch of cool stuff coming up here on the channel. Make sure you check out the live streams every Sunday night, 8.30 Central Standard Time. All that shameless self-promotion aside. Check all the links pinned in the comment section and the description box and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, make sure you're living as constitutionally as you feel comfortable. Always. Always, 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 the Second Amendment is your carry permit, just so you know. And free men don't ask permission. Anyway, I'm getting on another tirade. i got to stop. i got to let you guys go, even though you've probably already clicked off minutes ago. But either way, in the meantime, until the next one, don't ever forget.